starting Monday, those 18 and over could start booking appointments for their booster shots. Further to this, though, students right across the province are going to be going home with rapid test kits to take over the holidays. However, unions, uh, teachers unions and education workers unions across the province are asking what about them? So uh, I reached out to Lisa Klimkowski, who is the ETFO president for Halton. ETFO is the Elementary Teachers Federation of Ontario. She starts off our conversation by saying, that it is no secret that COVID is spreading in our schools. And it's really important that our members are part of this initiative. I mean, we want to stop the spread. We all want to do our part and make sure that, you know, we're, we're doing what we can to stop the spread of COVID-19. And yes, we have our students and they're, they're going to have those tests and they're going to be hopefully using them and come back nice and healthy. But we want to make sure that those people that are responsible for taking care of them are protected as well. And we need our teachers in front of those classrooms in order for those schools to reopen. And, you know, we've seen this time and time again, we've, you know, gone on holiday and not returned. And so anything that we can do, any measure we can put into place in order to have our staff and our students stay safely back in the classroom, that, that is the end goal for all of us. Now, as I mentioned, other unions are taking part in this, including the Ontario Secondary School Teachers Federation. I spoke with the president of our local district here in Halton, District 20, Cindy Gage, to get a sense of why it's particularly important uh, that teachers and educational workers in high school get these rapid test kits. In the high schools, Halton is one of the first boards to switch back to the regular semester. And we are very happy about that because that has provided the best learning environment for students to be with their teachers in the 75 minute period. Uh, what it means though, is there is no cohorting and students are switching classes in the halls, um, you know, three to four to five times a day. They're eating lunch in non um divided, no social distancing space. So that is unique to the high school setting. And members are supervising these students and teaching these students in those settings. So they would benefit from having access to the rapid test also.